Oh, good evening, Folsom TV. Hi, Mom, if you're watching. It's Ian McAdam, the Freight Room of Railyard Promotions, with what we got going on this week on Folsom City Limits. First and foremost, I have to give a big, huge, and I do mean huge, shout out to our sponsor this week, Dovos Media. Steven, you're the man. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you for everything you've done to help support this project and live music in Northern California. Now, without further ado, I got to give you a little story, and I swear to you, it will be the Reader's Digest version. <clears throat> Our guest this week, I came across him on Instagram. If you haven't followed him, it's Beard underscore Picker. If you have not followed our guest this week, I highly recommend you go hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, whatever it is on Instagram. He said, the essence of a working man's musician, because you thought that whole idea was gone by the wayside with people like Merle Haggard. Oh, no, it's still here. And it, he's actually standing right behind me. And you hear him a little bit. So I go over to one of our fan, one of our fans and one of our friends, of the show, Hanley's Western Wear, for a, for a tent sale. And I see him playing a set out of the back of his truck. And I said, I, you have to be on my show, plain and simple. And here we are tonight, accompanied by Ben Clark over here on mandolin and all sorts of different guitars. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the beard picker, Nick Bossi. <laughs> He was snaking basins and threading pipes Turns round and the clothes were nowhere to be seen It's safe to say that he had himself a time Just a plumber bringing water to a cottage on a Friday night He won't complain, no he won't kick up a fuss It's just a typical day for some trade men just like us, yeah She heard our frame and the insurance man Well, he gave her a hundred grand As for what I did, well, I guess she liked it Cause she added on, I jacked up the fries Walked away with a little more than I planned but It's safe to say that he had himself a time Just framing up a cottage for a lady on a Friday night He won't complain, no, he won't kick up a fuss just a typical day for some trade men just like us. Yeah, he won't complain, no, he won't kick a bus. It's just a typical day for some trade men just like us. Two more times. Just a typical day for some trade men just like us. Yeah, it's just a typical day for some trade men just like us. Thank you, people. Thank you. Thank you. So this next song, you know, it was kind of a cool one how it came about. Hanging out, eating dinner with my lady. And we're going through the songs in my set. We're just kind of like, oh, you got a love song. You got a couple working man songs. But what you don't got is a drinking song. I'm like, Luckily for us, it's easy to talk and think about drinking. So what we did is, you know, since we're kind of older now, we don't really go out as much. But we do drink during the day. So uh, this next one's called Day Drinking. <laughs> Why is it 
it when I'm staring up at the clouds. All I can think about is popping a top and sipping on an ice cold beer. Well, maybe it's cause that clown's got curves like a long neck bottle. So it ain't absurd for a guy like me to think about drinking right here. So tell you what I'm gonna do. Kick back, relax, and enjoy a six pack or two. Nothing done, said I'm day yeah, drinking in the hot ass sun when I should be working and saving up. Instead, all I'm thinking about is catching a buzz, cause I'm day drinking and it ain't even noon. Working on my truck, but I got a 24 ounce or a buck for a buck. I'd rather just chill right here in a chair, maybe soak up some sun, get a little wind in my beard. The neighbors can judge, oh, but I really don't care, cause I'm happy as hell with an eye hot cold beer. Instead, all I'm thinking about is catching a buzz Cause I'm day, day drinking And it ain't even noon tuned up here for you real quick. Let me get tuned up as well. You do it, Benny. This is my brother, Benny. Benjamin, Benjamin, Bendelin. He has many names. Just don't call him late for band practice because he never is. Yeah, me and Ben have been playing music together since we were little kids. He was my first drummer, in all honesty. I was like 16 and he was like 11. <laughs> but he was the best drummer I knew. <laughs> now he's the best mandolin player I know. Only mandolin player you know. Technically. Tip the waitresses. Every single song in this set has come from an experience, a place I've been, something I've done, something I've seen. And, and, and in most cases, I had, I had help with these songs just from the people around me because if you know me, you know 
I sit around and play guitar. I write songs. I make up goofy songs. That, that's all I do. If, if you don't like, like that, you wouldn't want to hang with me. <laughs> promise you. But this next song was mainly helped written uh, by the kids in our family. My son Bradley, my young nephew Oakley. We were hanging out at a family lake house up there in Lake Almanor area. And uh, we were just jamming out and we're saying, man, we got to get a fire going. We got to get a campfire going. And we just kind of started working with that, like campfire. Yeah, that's a good idea. This next song is called Campfire, co-written by Bradley and Oakley Basio. It's Friday afternoon, and I got some big plans to load up my truck and roll down a road that never ends. The destination filled up with friends and they call it my name. We hanging out by campfire, cooking up some s'mores, telling stories about where we came from and where we Just hanging out. Well, finally it's evening and the sun's getting low. Gather up some kindling, it's getting mighty cold. Light up that fire. So I take them while I can Soak it in like sunrise Shining on the land Be grateful for the time I can't rest these two old hands Yeah We hanging out By campfire Cooking up some s'mores Telling stories About where we came Just hanging out. Working man knows it's nothing better than a cold sip of beer after a job well done, right? So much work. <laughs> uh, you're on guitar on this next one, buddy. 
So, I mean, I, th I kind of think that every every singer out there is a uh, gets really inspired by by his or her lover. And when you're trying to write a song, I mean, it's real easy to just look to your left and start thinking of all kinds of great stuff. But us as guys, I mean, we get distracted. <laughs> so I was writing a nice little love song, but I kept thinking about like all the guy kind of stuff that I like to do. But I found a way to twist it all up and word it so that it's something that, you know, a guy can relate to, at least is what I think, a guy can relate to, but a, a gal can appreciate, or vice versa, you know, you know what I'm saying. This one's called Never Let You Go. Saying when I'll be home, but there's one thing I love more, and that's the lady I adore. I used to spend Saturdays just working on my rig Yeah, and make big plans that don't involve kids But now things all are different I'd rather spend my Friday nights Maybe order a piece Watch a baseball game, sit by the window, listen to the rain. When the moment is right, see if you'll take my last name. Cause there's one thing that I need. And that's you sitting next to me. That's a nice song. I love playing that thing for her. So, <clears throat> through the years, I've been carrying around this guitar. Well, not this one. This one's a lot nicer than the one I started with, but I've been carrying around a guitar ever since I was 15, 16 years old, trying to figure out some kind of way to, like, Write a song that'll get some attention, that'll get me in a band, that'll get me on the road, that'll get me on a stage. And I'm 38 years old now, I'm still trying to do that thing. Took a little time off, tried to raising up a family, but my kids are getting big now, they got their own songs. 
here's the thing. If your kids got their own songs, you can go back to writing some of your own songs. That's the way I look at it. So now, thanks to Ian and these guys, I'm here. I'm here up on this stage that, shit, man, this is the powerhouse, baby. This is the stage you want to play on up here in Folsom. And before we know it, I think we'll all be back out here doing it again. And I think instead of having tables and lights, we'll have people dancing and partying up in here and doing the way we've been doing for 20 years up in here. This next song is all about that. It's called Six String Dream. out there online listening, whoever's there hanging. I feel like if you took a little time from your dinner to watch this, I owe you a thank you. Appreciate that. Here we go. Like I said, uh, 
oftentimes I turn to my lady when looking for inspiration for a song. And if you're sitting on the couch with your lady and she's got some Daisy Dukes on and you're looking at her legs, oh boy, it's easy to find inspiration. But you don't want to say that on a song, you know. You got to find a little bit of a classier, maybe a little sneakier way to say it. That's why I called this song Gravy. And uh, uh, you might know what I mean if you say you wanted to pour a little bit of that gravy on you. Just fine. Looking that good, well, it should be a crime. mandolin, Benny. <laughs> yeah, my brother Benny ain't been playing the mandolin too long. He just kind of like randomly picked it up, and then I... <laughs> That's true. It was like 60 bucks. That first one he got, it's hanging on, it's hanging on my little guitar tree at the house. But he... Uh, so he kind of picked it up and started noodling around a little bit, and then I started begging him to play music with me. It was kind of how that went. Please play music with me, Benny. I need someone out there with me, man. I want to be up there all alone. 
turns out he plays guitar too. He used to play drums, but we decided we don't we don't like having having drums in the band anymore. No That's too much work. Why well, carry drums? Go ahead. Washed up loser. Will not play the drums anymore. That's a lie. Mm. He just been. more like it never was. <laughs> I think you just prefer to carry a 12 pack than a, than a snare yeah. or a hi hat. A 12 pack than a hi hat. Yeah. That, that's a good premise for a song. Hmm. Anyways. So, this next song. <clears throat> this song was inspired. By uh, you know, quite a few people I know, quite a few artists out there. We all kind of have these these passions and these things we chase, and and like some of us actually take try to make a go of it and try to get out there and like make a career out of our art, like go twenty four seven hard at that, knowing that's gonna be way harder than just getting a job, and it's probably gonna pay less. Um, but you know, these guys who go out there and scratch ink in us and give us these tattoos. Those are those guys. And I, I know a few of them personally, so I wrote this song for those guys because I do have you know, a little stack of blue collar songs, but I was thinking like, these guys need a song. So I'll call this one Born to Lose. Find a job, low down on luck, hit the bottom of a rock. Dreams to make a living, scratching ink in folks' arms. Knows what he wants, just not where to start. And he thought about a new tattoo. He could get that said born to lose. Sat down with his notebook. In a bottle of booze And he drew a pretty picture of the blues Singing to Ralayolehu Yeah, he drew a pretty picture of the blues Singing to Ralayolehu Crossed, better pray. And he got himself a new tattoo on the chest that said born to lose. Sat down with his notebook, a pencil, and a bottle of booze. And he drew a pretty picture of the blues, singing to Rala Lay.
find a solution And you don't even know why Too much pride Don't you know what you'll be losing Begging please Please try Thank you very much. Writing those sensitive songs, it kind of makes me, gets me a little. That's why I don't write that many of those damn things. We've got some fun songs coming up next. Let's see here, try and get that. Oh, there we go. It's called Ben Smoking. Thank you. Let me get this thing tuned up. Every time I play that song, it comes out of tune, I start wailing on the acoustic. I just imagine one day, like, this music starts getting some other people who want to join. Maybe I'll get an electric guitar player in here for that song, right? I'm gonna find you. We about halfway through what we got going and just want to say again thanks Ian thanks Adam thanks guys Folsom TV rail yard promotion you guys having us out here this is just a blast I'll be honest I ain't never had lights shining on me like this before it's kind of cool <laughs> all right okay okay man you know you can't put together a set you can't put together a set without throwing a one or two blues songs in there. And we don't got to, like I said, we don't mess with drums because that's too much work. And we don't have an electric guitar player yet. So me and Ben, we just kind of make do doing our thing. The way you do on a porch with your buddies. So we got our own little little love song. Little love blues, little bluesy love song yeah. called Love Blues. So it's kind of easy to remember the name. One. Alone, sipping on whiskey, nobody at home, got no woman to miss me, need something that soothes my lonely heart that don't come from a bottle on the shelf at a bar, talking about love, so pop the cork on that jug and pass it to me because the more that I chug, the better I feel. It's just like a drug If I'm being real And I could really use A big shot of love With every me She 
walked in the place I pictured us out on a date Where I'm holding her hand and Taking a cold load I'm taking it slow whoa, 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 yeah Fine wine. Well, we only get better with time, just like love. So pop the cork on that jug and pass it to me because the more that I chug, the better I feel. Yeah, it's just like a drug. If I'm being real and I could really use, oh, yeah, yeah, a big shot of love. Benjamin, Benjamin, Manda Ben on the guitar over there. I really appreciate your help, Benny. That's nice. It's nice not being up here all on my lonesome. We're going to have some fun on these last, last three, four, five we got going in here. <sighs> Wait, damn, dude. The last dude who trolled me talking about Freebird, I went home and learned it. I'm telling you. I already forgot it, man. Honestly, Freebird's a good ass song. Like, I'll listen to all 30 minutes of that shit at work. Mm. Leonard Skinner is one of the best rock bands of all time. Give me three step, give me three step, yeah. So with all this, with everything that's been going on, I'm just hoping that come summertime, we can get back out at the lake, we can get some barbecues going, we can get some people over to, you know, have a hug, <laughs> have a little hug with them up sure when somebody, when you see them. Uh, and one of the first songs that, that kind of came to me when I started writing music again was a song just all about the summer and just... I just started thinking of everything I like and when I was a kid to now and just tossed it all in a song. I played it, put a little video on Facebook, and I think Derek, guy who plays bass with us, Derek, I hope you're out there watching, he said, man, come on over and play, play some guitar with me. I'll jam with you. And it, it really was a, a bit of a kicking off point for us to get this, this set list going. And I just hope that everybody out there can you know, have a fun summer when it comes, this song. The song's called Summertime, and hope it brings back some memories for you. so long and it's gone way too fast. 
guess it's the kind of thing that's too good to last. Like falling in love with a girl from the campsite and holding her hand every day till the last night. Summertime. 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 Backyard, fire up the coals, tune up them guitars, make sure the beer's cold. Bear hug that cousin who you ain't seen in a while. Tell a joke to your grandpa. Thanks to everyone who tuned in tonight, man. I really appreciate it. I know I've been hollering at you guys online saying, come look at me, come look at me. And I've been enjoying looking at a lot of you online, seeing the stuff that you guys do, whether it be woodworking or just pictures of the fam or just, you know, you might be a plumber unclogging some drains. I think that shit's cool, <laughs> personally. So it's really entertaining to me seeing all you guys online doing your thing. And I think you guys should keep doing it. And if you're into music, shit, you should holler at Ian. Maybe you can get up here, too. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'll give you that. Mm. Like I said, I, I don't write all these songs myself. A lot of times I get in a in, in spot where I just, I'm writing a song, and I got some good thing going, but then the lyrics are starting to get all jumbled, and the song's starting to sound weird. But then this one, I'll reach out, and my good, good buddy, Mike Dog, Mike Krebsbach, he might be watching tonight. Uh, he helped me out with this next one because <clears throat> I had a lot of good ideas, but it was all getting jumbled. And I, you know, I sent him a little phone recording. Check this out, dude. Took a big shot of whiskey, you know. And he's like, oh, oh, you got to switch this around. He told me right away. He's like, no, 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 this, give me it, give me it. I was like, all right. 30 minutes later, I get a text, beep. And he's singing it back. I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 that's how we're doing it. <laughs> That's how we're doing it now. So this song was kind of co-written by me and my good buddy Mike. When the world becomes a normal place again, I can guarantee he'll be up here with us. He'll probably be playing like seven instruments at once. <laughs> um, this one's called Whiskey. Did 
didn't have to go too far. shot of whiskey as my buddy pulled a picture down and it weren't no surprise that the red in our eyes had the barking searching around for a bouncer who won't take it easy on some boys who want the rodeo so we tipped real good till she understood that we weren't no clowns and bought another round songs about reminiscing with the boys that's just my favorite thing that's my favorite thing we're getting older we don't have as much time to chill yeah, it's like with as far as my buddy mike man these days we can't chill with all this stuff and but he was still able to help me write this song and i really appreciate that we miss you mike we miss and you. jen and the whole fam, and Lou, and Zach, hi Zach, and Griselda, <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jackson, Jackson. <laughs> we got a new nephew by the all name of Jackson, we're trying to remember all the kids' names, Too many. and like, Ben and I are floating on like a perfect little spot right now, so we don't remember things. <clears throat> this last song is uh, dedicated to all these dudes who've been really supporting me online with my music and my construction, you know, I get messages come through my thing. Dude, your work looks good. Or, dude, I like that song. Or, dude, you know, you spread positivity. Dude, send me that track. Dude, when's your album? I just get all these sweet messages coming through and, like, it makes me feel so damn good. It pushes me to keep on writing songs. It pushes me to let me know that, like, you know, across this world, other trade dudes like me, they all have their, their dreams on the side. Like, yeah, we love our jobs. We love plumbing. We love electrical. We love framing. But, like, really, we love music. We love art. We love skateboarding, snowboarding, all these different things. And it's like, you know, when you get this encouragement from other guys like you, it's just it's such a boost. It's like, it's like better than the best energy drink ever. <laughs> like... So all you guys out there, man, you guys know this song. This is one of my songs that you know. You heard it on my brother's podcast, Local Non-Union Podcast. 
It's the intro song. It's morphed. It's a little different now. But it's for all you trade guys out there. We're going to close this song, this uh, set out with a song called Making Hay. Let me make sure I got this tuning just right. How about one more time for Nick the Beard Picker back here? Thank you guys for joining us for another episode of Folsom City Limits. We love all of you. We tremendously appreciate it. Do yourselves a favor. Hit share. Tell everybody you know because when things go back to normal, when our world becomes sane once again, we want to have you in the house. We want to have a little crowd interaction. So if you got yourself a venue, if you got yourself a band, if you got... All the above, we want to hear a little feedback from you guys. Do yourselves a favor. Reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram, Rail Yard Promotions. That's one word, not two. Rail Yard Promotions. Check this guy out back here. The owner, operator of Solid General. Solid General Construction. I screwed that up, and I told him I'd totally plug his business. Solid General Construction, anything you need done to your house, anything you need, period, 
this man will show up. He might even bring his guitar and sing you a song. You never know. You honestly never know. Now, coming up next week, I will do you guys a favor that are watching right now because I know there's a lot of Outlaw Country fans that are in that camera. I see maybe two of you right now. I got a phone call. I got a wiry band of rebels. You've seen these guys on the show already, and they're coming at you with some new material, some new original material, and it will be insane. I guarantee it coming all the way down the hill from El Dorado County. The Hill Country Truckers will be right here next week, same time, same place, Folsom TV YouTube. Do yourselves a favor. Hit the subscribe button if you've never been here before. Go track us down, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, all the social medias. My name is Ian McAdam. I'm with Real Yard Promotions, and I hope you guys have a good night, and thank you for tuning in. <laughs> so long! Thank <laughs> you.